It all starts with an idea, an idea that is brought on by inspiration or a response. This artwork is a response. Like many people, the violence and brutality that occurred at Sandy Hook Elementary had a profound effect on me. 26 lives lost, most of them children. That number stuck with me. This was the number reported on by the media. This was the number quoted in the president's speech. Then they released the pictures of the deceased, all placed side by side, grouped together in a tragic mosaic. In response, I decided to create my own mosaic, 26 abstract images placed side by side. It would not be a visceral display of the shooting. There would be no violent imagery. The artwork would represent the life and individuality of each person. The colors would be inspired by the Connecticut landscape in the fall. Paintings for the mosaic were worked on as a complete set, in small groups, and individually. This allowed me to consider different arrangements for the artworks as a whole. Once I had completed all 26 paintings, I decided it would be poignant to have my son and my wife help me to arrange the canvases. We collaborated on placement and orientation of each painting. Originally, I wanted one of my threads to run in and out of select paintings in the mosaic. I planned on it being red, thick, and organic shaped, like many of the forms from my series The Thread Paintings. But the more I looked at the assembled paintings, the more I realized this was the finished piece. Each painting was done in limited strokes, almost like a series of gestures. This would be reflective of my exposure to the Sandy Hook victims. When I would look at the photographs of the deceased, I could only look at them for short periods of time. But what about the thread that would bind this work to the rest of my series? My wife, who is not an artist but is quite clever, suggested that the thread be metaphorical. She saw the thread as an invisible force that runs between each painting, binding the people together through the mosaic. I like that. I think it helped me to understand why I created this artwork in the first place. Not as an account of this senseless act of violence, but as a response to what was lost because of it. <laughs>